We're adding rational expressions with like denominators. Oh god, oh god! Right in here to our first example, we see that the denominators are the same. Once we have a common denominator, what can we do to their numerators? Adam. There's gotta be at least one person out there named Adam. Alright, so we're Adam. That's 9 plus 7 divided by P, that common denominator. 9 and 7 turn out to be 16 over P. <laughs> Woo, wait, that 6 looks a lot like a P. Can I reduce them? Come on now. I'm over here to our second example. Yeah. Here we're subtracting rational expressions with like denominators. So once I have those common denominators, then I subtract their numerators. That's four minus seven all over. That common denominator, A, plus 10, sure. Four minus seven is a minus three. T, T, over A plus 10, then. Oh yeah, pretty. Not really. Okay, I'm on over here, boom. Third example, yeah. I have a common denominator, so I go and I add their numerators. That says Z, ooh, nice. Squared plus eight, great. Z, T, T, T. And that's all over the common denominator of Z plus eight. Great, wait, we can factor and maybe reduce. So we deduce that we can pull Z, Z out and z plus eight great wait that's all over z plus eight great wait i see i can reduce uh, uh, oh what are we left with <laughs> uh, what does a baby wear onesie Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.